Okay everyone, in this uh, video session we are going to discuss about the ha simple harmonic motion. In the simple harmonic motion, I think uh, you all have know about the basic fundamental theories, right? And the basic uh, concept of the uh, simple harmonic motion, especially the characteristic equations and uh, how to find the tensions using hook rule, right? So the first of all, I'm going to uh recall the uh, basic theory parts in the simple harmonic motion so if uh, if a particle is moving on a simple harmonic motion right simple harmonic motion this is the uh, characteristic equation of the simple harmonic motion here omega is a constant Right. And uh, another equation, the velocity equation. So that is uh, v squared equal omega squared a squared minus x squared. Here a is amplitude. We mean the velocity. X mean the distance. from origin right right and also uh, can remember the uh, in a uh, string this is our e e mean the uh, extension this is L natural length extension natural length and T will be lambda E over L this is Hooke's rule and also the energy is half lambda E squared over L so this is the uh, stored uh, potential energy of this string. Okay, as a first sum, uh, you can see the question on the screen now. A particle P of mass M is subtended from the fixed point O by means of light elastic string of a natural length L. Initially, P falls from rest at O. If the subsequent, subsequent, subsequently motion the greatest depth of the particle P is below O is 3L. Show that the modulus of velocity of the string is 3 over 2 mg. Prove that the P reach the point of the greatest depth in time this. Okay, the particle V of mass M is subtended from the point fixed by O. Okay, I'm going to draw the diagram first. The greatest point is 3L. The natural length is L. So that means the extension is 2L. The greatest depth means that point is the instant tenuous rest. From the rest from the origin, right? It's uh, assume this point as A and B, uh, it's coming from the rest from point A O. So that means the position of E and the position of B energies are equal. So this position potential energy is zero, zero plus zero plus all are zero. But in here, kinetic is zero, but uh, the elastic potential energy is not zero half lambda e squared over l so by the way e is 2l natural length l minus this is uh, 3l mg 3l
This is our lambda, 3 mg over 2. So then, prove that the uh, show that the modulus of elasticity is 3 mg over 2, and prove that the uh, uh, p reach the point of the greatest depth in time. This okay. So after that, what you have to do, you have to uh, consider the motion. But first of all, you have to show uh, the uh, characteristic equation first. Okay, what to happen? The particle is coming from the rest now. So in this particular point, I assume the modulus, the extension as x. So this is x double dot. The particle mass is mg. This is t. So when you put f equal ma to the downward motion, it's mg minus t mx double dot. T me hook rule lambda lambda is 3 mg over 2. Lambda e you mean x l mx double dot. You can pull 3g over 2 l out x minus 2L over 3 so a lot so then 3G over 2L so this is look like a uh, characteristic equation so actually Assume x minus 2L over 3 as y. What will happen if you differentiate it by time? So y double dot is equal to x double dot 3g over 2L x minus 3L over 3 as y. 3g over 2L y equals 0. That is like omega square. Omega equal square root three g over two l, right? Okay. So therefore, the particle moving on a simple harmonic motion, right? So after that, we should need to find the center of the simple harmonic motion. How to find the center? In the center, y getting 0. So y mean 2L over 3. x equal to L over 3. Okay, so this is the center. So that means that means this is your L to L over three distance. You will get the center, All right? And the next thing is amplitude a dash amplitude. How to find the amplitude? You know, whole distance is 3L, no, it was given. 3L equal L to L over 3 plus amplitude. So 3L minus 5L over 3 A dash. So 9L minus 5 4L over 3 amplitude. Right? So then next thing is 
to determine the time taken to uh, come into the uh, the least position greatest depth time okay so how to find the greatest depth So now it's uh, 2L over 3, here to here it's 4L over 3, this is alpha, right, so in the simple harmonic motion, so the time taken is uh, I mean this is pi minus alpha so time mean pi minus alpha over omega right so this alpha is cos alpha the cos alpha equal to L over 3 half pi over 3 so this is time to pi over 3 omega so omega was uh, Well over 3G. Actually, this is the harmonic time. Only the harmonic time. We didn't calculate the. We didn't calculate the, uh, the gravitation time here to here. Right here to here. Time is t2. So you can put uh, v squared u squared plus 2a is down. This is v squared 0 plus 2gl square root 2 gl p plus u a t 2 gl plus g t 1 2 l over g so you can add these two to determine the final time taken to reach the deepest point so then the total time T1 plus T2 is 2 pi over 3 2L over 3G plus 2L over G so you can now 2L over G out the square root 2L over G out plus 2 5 3 root 3 so this is the total time for the complete motion